uh, you know, we're trying to set records, Your Honor. The next defendant, Your Honor. Yes. Vicky Tyler. Oh. The famous Vicky Tyler? The famous Vicky Tyler, or the infamous Vicky Tyler. The infamous. Right? Yes. Could we bring on the prisoner defendant, Vicky Tyler? Wow. Your Honor, as you well know, Vicky Tyler is the morning host on the Fox, along with Mitch, who's, I don't know what he's doing, but maybe it's for posterity's sake. Anyway, Vicky was charged that she did unlawfully disturb the peace by repeatedly laughing at Mitch's, it says not so funny jokes, but Mitch is a friend of mine, so I think that they are funny jokes. But, however, that is the information before the court. Further, that in addition, she did shop under the influence of the smell of leather, which can be conducive to spending more money for a woman, I understand, while feeding her addiction to shoes, Your Honor. This is contrary to Section 69 of It's Not That Funny Act and 1.17 of the SUI, which is Shopping Under the Influence Act. Your Honor, I leave that to your discussion to continue. We also have, uh, I'm seeing here as I look at here, at, at some of the additional notes here, Ms. Tyler. Um, there's a couple of things about uh, your, your laughter out, out, outbursts. Uh, one, we're wondering about uh, how the fine folks of Dunnock, uh, in the heart of uh, farm country, would feel about uh, their native girl uh, hoarding all of those hides that you wear on your feet so often. Um, and we're also going to have you talk about wearing Toronto Maple Leafs jersey uh, with a pair of shoes. Do you know anything about this, about wearing Toronto Maple Leafs jersey? I have no idea. Are you a Toronto Maple Leafs It wouldn't be this girl here wearing a Toronto jersey. I can tell you that, Your Honor. Okay, that's good. She's a Sens fan. Sens all the way. <laughs> all right. So, Ms. Tyler, how do you respond to the uh, charges that are in front of you? I really have no argument. I'm only here because they told me I could wear a new outfit. <laughs> This isn't really what I had in mind, to be honest. Horizontal stripes suck on you. I'm I just know. And the hat doesn't match the shoes very well either. Right. Let's just say that I've been punished enough already. <laughs> you can say it, I won't. So I, I have a fine already pre-existing here, but I want to bring up one other point, uh, Ms. Tyler, because you and I have bumped into each other, and I just want to say that... Uh, I'll bring it up. This is open court. <laughs> Ms. Tyler, you and I have uh, hosted together for a number of years the annual Lions Christmas Telethon for children around the area. And I laughed at your jokes then, too. <laughs> <laughs> the... Thank you, Mitch. The... The fine I would like to bring, in addition to your fine... An additional $100 is at Christmas time, I know we're festive, but at a children's telethon, you had an excessive amount of cleavage in your dress. <laughs> so I'm going to assess a $100 additional fine on top of this for the, let me say, massive amount of cleavage. The I-75 of cleavage that you had during the Christmas telethon. Uh, you know, Your Honor, I have to ask for some leniency in this situation because I would assume that it did in fact bring in more money from the public. People watching a little longer, if you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. I'm reading your mail. But... Those kind of dollars and where those dollars come from and where they end up on that person is not the kind of money that we needed at the Christmas telethon. Do you not agree, Mr. Prosecutor? Most definitely, Your Honor. This is disrespectful to the community. Disrespectful to the community. <laughs> Money's money, right? Whoa. All right. Okay. Well, since you have no morals, on top of that hundred, I'm going to put another... I'm going to put another 50 on top of that. Hi, ladies. Do you Larry, want to get a lawyer? In there. Come on, somebody, help me out. Do I have a lawyer in the house? No? So no. laughing at Mitch's jokes, the, the excessive use of, of shoe purchasing, sorry, Aldo, excessive use of shoe purchasing, uh, the, what's, is there a disturbance in the court? Security? Can you remove these young ladies? They're... 
They're disturbing the... Move it along. There's nothing to see here. There's nothing to see here. We're starting to gather a crowd. Move it along. I should move them along? No, move them along. We want them here. Okay, sorry. You can stay. With all of that, your total fine will come to a total with excessive cleavage. Don't get me wrong. $400 and you have to wear the cement boots. But they're ugly. Haven't I been punished enough with this outfit? Okay, with that, you're also going to wear a Toronto Maple Leafs yeah! jersey. $400 fine, a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey, and the cement boots. You're all out of order. I'm just going to throw that out there. Especially you. $500. The fine just went up. $500. Such a good decision, Your Honor. Thank you. Want to talk some more? <laughs> Your Honor, I know, I know it's not... Uh, it's not normal to say this, but I really do appreciate the way the court is taking the attitude towards disrespectful members of the public who are coming before you. This is so wrong, and I appreciate that as a prosecution. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you, Ivan. The 